Ketherick is dead. Balthazar is dead. Isabel. Sweet Isabel is no more. But we, we live. We live at the mercy of the gods. Even I, immortal, have no guarantee of days to come. We must remain vigilant and grateful. I will join your camp tonight. There we will discuss the spirals of time, past and future. And we will make merry in the present, wherein we reside. You certainly will. You prevailed, my friend. Now your path takes you to Baldur's Gate. But I cannot join you. Out there the curse still thrives. I failed this place. Now I must remain behind. And stand watch over it. The same. I had hoped I might have been able to stay by your side. To help however I could. But the Oak Father has spoken. My place is here. The shadows yet fester. The dead three united under cover of darkness. The balance shifts. There are depths to this alliance yet unplumbed. Consider, mortal. Do illithids possess souls? No. Nor canst thou count mind flares among them. Yet, the three amass an illithid army void of apostolic souls that could imbue them with power. A flock without souls, yet to what end, mortal? This is the question thou must come to answer. Until such time, be availed of my services. Yes, Bane, Lord of Darkness, Baal, Lord of Murder, Merkel, Lord of Bones. Once judged, ascended, then vanquished as one and as three. The Alliance is reforged, mortal. The plains thus quake, and the gods shudder. No. Where matters of balance are concerned, I am eternally called. doing down there? Is all of this because of him? The tadpole, the absolute. How?
I'd never have protected a Baynite even a decade ago. I looked after that fucker with my life. I trusted him. He gave me away to Zariel without a second thought. And now he's looking to ruin the entire Sword Coast. He has to die. And I'm gonna be the one who kills him. He can't get away with what he's done. To me. To us. He won't get away with it. Trust me. Greetings. This land remains cloaked by Lady Shah's power. Good. A shame it cost us Halsin as a traveling companion, though. He may have been misguided, but I liked looking at him. Thank you. I think any attempts at comforting me might be in vain just now. But you're sweet to keep me in your thoughts. I'm sorry. It might be best kept until later. I'd be a poor counsel and... What do you know about me? You spoke of my past, being chased by wolves. I told no one about that. Almost no one. But I certainly didn't share that with you. There is nothing I can tell you that you do not already know yourself. They trained you well, trained you hard. Chiseled away any part of you that did not fit their plan. They made you forget. I chose to do that. For the mission to protect Shah's... Secrets. Yes, yes, that is an old song, girl. Your goddess cares more for her precious secrets than she does her devotees. Get to the point. When you freed me, you severed a bond between me and that dog, Thorm. A bond of pain. His, inflicted on me. When I laid eyes on you, I sensed a similar bond. You, tethered to two others. Someplace distant. Let me help you remember. You feel Shadowheart's mind tug at the edges of your own. You know this sensation. She wants you to see whatever is about to be revealed. Your mind joins with Shadow Hearts. Something pulls at you both, bringing you elsewhere. among Saluna's followers to send their children off into the woods to find their way home. Perhaps this time it had gone awry. It seems that one child never came back. 
She was taken. What? Who was that man? You already know. Did you not see yourself in him? Do you not recognize your own blood? My father. That was him. That is him. He lives still. And your mother, too. No. It can't be. I'm an orphan. And who told you that? Your adoptive family? You are not to blame. You were young. Impressionable. They took you because they wanted to break and remake you. But you are a child no longer. You are a woman. One who knows what must be done. My parents... I need to save them. Your parents are with your abductors. You will need to return to their lair. But be warned. You may have once thought of them as comrades, mentors, friends, even lovers. They will all be enemies now. You have been forewarned for what is to come. But not yet forearmed. I was able to retrieve it before it sank too far into Shah's umbral domain. Shah is quick to discard whatever she has no use for. I think you know that well enough. But I felt it call to me as I took flight. Whatever Shah calls her own, Saluna has equal claim to. They are one and the same. Their power is matched and mirrored. Take it. You will find it useful. What do you do with it? That will be up to you. Same as before. I'll need every advantage, it seems. Thank you. A debt repaid. You returned my life unto me. Now go and claim your own. <coughs> it hurts. Shah torments you still. What a spiteful creature she is. This will not stop until you take action. See that your parents' sacrifices are not in vain. Allow the Moon Maiden to guide you at last. There you are. I have awaited your arrival with great anticipation. Come closer. Feel my voice rattle your bones as I proclaim our victory. Moon Maiden Saluna, hear me. Catherick Thorm, traitor, apostle of Merkel, is dead at last. Blessings upon the slayer of the wicked one. Listen to the subtle vibrations of the Moon Maiden thumping within your heart chamber's friend. She works her magic there. Our thoughts are as one, my friend. You must face the Chosen of Bane and Baal. I will do my part to see them laid low. In due time, Mother Saluna will tell me when the time is right. Painful truths should be handled with some decorum. My resplendence honors yours. I am free from my bonds, but not my duty. The dead three are risen. The dead two remain. You must face them. I will help. Pray, ask, and I will tell. Do I not radiate with my mother's brightness, her glory? There can be no doubt. I am of her silvered flesh, her celestial womb. Why, she already has. She has brought her sword to your side, Dame Aelin. So mighty are her wonders, her great wisdom. Together, we will set this fair land free of tyranny and murder. <sighs> Ketherick Thorn, 
Father of my one and only love. Enslaver of Dame Aelin. <sighs> Catherick Thorm never did trust me. Even when he worshipped the Moon Maiden. He was threatened by my love for Isabel. By her love for me. When she died, curse the day, the hour. We each of us mourned bitterly. But Catherick's pain could be touched by no aid, no boundary. He turned to Wretched Shah, the Lady of Loss, for relief. And she whispered into his ear, poisoning his mind. He and his loathsome advisor, Balthazar, lured me into the Shadowfell, claimed they'd found someone in need of my aid. There, they trapped me in their infernal cage. I was killed, murdered, made dead over and over and over by justicias of every make and kind. I was reborn, for it is my nature. And Catherick fed upon my immortality all the while. But lo, the brute is dead, and we, we live! My resplendence honors yours. Pray, ask, and I will tell. Do I not radiate? There can be no doubt. I am of her silk. been lied to my whole life and I was gullible enough to just believe it my parents are alive and I have to save them I think a part of me always knew that a part that Shah denied to me thank you but I want you to refrain from foolish heroics. When the time comes, we'll be entering a nest of vipers. I couldn't bear to lose you. Not after everything. We'd better press on for now, and hope we're ready when the moment comes. But before that, there's one thing I need to see to. You'll see for yourself soon enough. Just leave it with me. Of course. I suppose you've earned it. <laughs> 